Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am just going to highlight more in depth on this uh, DNA Unifan SL120 based on the control unit itself. For those of you who are new and I did this uh, video before so if you want to know in depth about this unit how great it's been structured you can actually click on the top right hand corner whereby it says um, on the uh, on this unit itself. Okay, now before I proceed, right, just a brief introduction on what this unit um, provides. When you purchase the unit that comes with the controller, it will give you three uh, fan connections that has a fan connector and an ARGB connector. You have three sets because you have three fans. Then comes with a SATA connection whereby one um, connection goes to the controller and the other one goes to your PSU where it draws power to supply the unit itself. And this is actually the um, onboard, or should I say motherboard, ARGB controller and the fan PWM, whereby you actually can do the uh, fan curves based on the motherboard itself if you do not choose to use the unit. I'll show you later. And this connector here is actually to the unit. And this last cable here is very important, whereby it connects um, one end to the unit and the other end to the USB 2 header on the motherboard itself. And what this cable does is actually to synchronize up the um, LiND L Connect. This is actually an application. So it does make use of this cable to communicate as in like your motherboard um, communicating with your unit itself. Or should I say the L Connect application that goes through your motherboard and passes the command to this unit. Now, before you do any connections right to your motherboard, make sure that you turn off your PC before you do so, so to prevent mishaps. And another thing to take note is that I am actually showing you the illustration on my own motherboard, which is actually a ASRock Taiji Z390. So it varies. You might need to actually check the uh, connection point based on your motherboard specification. All right, let's get into it. On the motherboard itself, right, as I mentioned, it's actually a Taiji board. I will need to indicate where the ARGB connector is. Next, I'll need to know where the USB 2 connection is. And of course, last but not least, the fan header. Next, we'll be connecting the unit with the cables that is provided. I'll first connect one end to the unit and what this cable does it allows you to actually make use of the motherboard to control the ARGB and the fan now this is actually for ARGB and this is actually for the PWM which is connected to the motherboard fan header next will be the USB cable whereby one end I will actually connect to the unit itself again. And at the other end, will be plugged to the motherboard. And last but not least, the SATA cable, where I connect one end to the unit again. And this is to the PSU. I'll secure everything tightly. Then I start to actually connect the ARGB connector and the fan header. Next will be the USB cable. I will connect it to the USB header on the motherboard itself. This is whereby the L connect has the control passing through the uh, motherboard to the uh, unit. Last but not least, the SATA cable where it supply power to the unit itself. Once connected, do a double check, make sure all cables are connected properly. And do check on the motherboard itself for the connection to make sure that all the connections are seated properly. My ARGB, my USB, and of course, my fan header. 
Next is to connect the fan to the unit. I will actually separate them into two. The first unit I will actually connect to set one from the uh, controller itself, which is set one. Then the next set of fans, right? In fact, it's daisy chain. I've actually connect this to set two to the unit. Now, once you have actually connected all, make sure you check the connection. And once it's done, right, I will show you the uh, actual application and the rest of the application that I've actually made use of. Now in front of you is in fact three applications. First is in fact the Lianli L Connect where you can actually download from the official website and to install onto your PC. I'll leave the link in my description. You can actually just uh, hit down and to download and to install. Now, the other two applications that I've used, right, this comes with the motherboard itself, which is actually the AS Rock A tuning that does the uh, fan curve or the temperature curve or the uh, fans to control the RPMs. And next will be the AS Rock Polychrome Sync which will control um, the ARGBs based on the motherboard itself. So this two, right, in fact, this and this, right, it belongs to the motherboard itself. So I'm not going to confuse you. Now, concentrating on the uh, L-Connect from Lianli itself, how it works, as you can see in front of you, right, I've deliberately separate them in set one and set two. So set one is this, and this is set two. So let's say you want to change the pattern on set one, as in like the ARGB lightings. You can just change it. Let me just set to static. You apply. You will only impact on set one and not set two. And you want to do the same on set two, change another pattern. You can just change. Then when you apply, it will only impact. Uh, it will only impact on set two and not set one. Same goes to the fan RPMs itself, or should I say the uh, fan speed itself. If you want set one to actually run quiet, you can set to quiet and apply. And you will just wind down. Same goes to set two. If you think this is too high, you can actually set it manually to the speed that you wanted and you apply. And you will wind down accordingly. And you feel like to have all the fans run at the same speed, all you need to do is to switch to whatever fan speed that you wanted. Let's say full speed, click on apply to all. Now, do take note on something where it says PWM. If you are using the L Connect uh, controller, right? Okay, what does PWM mean? It's following the uh, it's following the uh, fan curve on your motherboard header. Meaning to say, the uh, either you can actually set it on the BIOS itself, on the fan curve, or you can actually set it on this application itself. Or I should say that my motherboard application. Now, based on the fact that earlier on you have seen me plug in only one fan uh, header onto the motherboard itself. So, set to say um, is that if you were to make use of the uh, fan controllers on the uh, motherboard itself, right? then you have to actually control all. What do I mean by that? Okay, now, if you do it on L Connect when this is actually triggered on, not using the motherboard application, you can set it individu individually, as I mentioned. You can set this to quiet, right? Which set one, quiet, and set two remains at high RPMs. Or you can actually set, set two to PWM, which makes use of the um, controller on your motherboard itself. So you can actually apply. See, you can set it individually, as in like set two is only running on PWM, set one is running on quiet. You can set set one to full, no problem. So you can actually control the fans speed individually. But if you were to switch this off, meaning you say you do not want to use the L connect, and to make use of the um, motherboard application, if I'm gonna apply the uh, fan curve, right? Let's say for example, I will set all to high. Then when I apply, right, it will affect all the fans. Be it whether you connect three 
six, nine or twelve fans, because your unit itself, right, the um, unit fan controller itself, right, there's only one connection point to the motherboard fan header. So that's what causes it to actually control all the fans and you can't control them individually. So if you want to control them individually, make use of the L Connect, which is this. Okay, so as you can see, it's back to usual. This is running on PWM, this is running on full speed. Now, same applies to ARGBs. If you do not use um, the L Connect application and decided to use the motherboard itself, now you can't control the ARGBs individually. Once you turn on from your motherboard, it will control all the fans, be it three, six, nine, or 12 fans that is actually connected to the uh, Unifan uh, unit. See, if I were to change the uh, patterns, right, it will affect all. You can't do it individually. Else for L Connect, I switch off the motherboard application back to L Connect. See, you can control them individually, not a problem. So I would strongly advise you to actually make use of the L Connect more than to actually use the uh, motherboard um, application. There you have it. Well, I hope you can actually understand what I'm trying to explain to you. Now, to answer some of the questions that um, coming from my previous video, you were actually asking, if your motherboard does not have ARGB, can you actually use this unit? Not a problem. In fact, this unit itself, right, you can just detach this first cable, which consists of the ARGB controller and the, uh, sorry, ARGB connector and the uh, PWN fan connector to your motherboard, just remove it. The unit itself, right, you can control it through the USB 2 header and giving the uh, power through the uh, SATA cable. So leaving these two, right, is good to go. You can actually just connect to your motherboard and to you make use of the software to control the uh, fans and the ARGB. Now, second question coming from Wicked Shots, and you did mention about the placement of your fans and such. Well, I have no questions about it. You can actually do that. But um, you did mention that uh, ARGB is new to you. Well, if you want to pre prevent any mishaps, just make use, as what I mentioned to Raymond, just make use of the unit itself. Just connect the USB and the SATA and you'll be fine. Now, on top of it, right, you did mention that you have a 5-volt um, RGB and a 12-volt LED strips. Now, do take note that uh, there are indication on the 5-volt uh, RGBs or the 12-volt LED strips. Now, for 12-volt LED strips, right, mainly it comes with two connection point or four connection point. I wouldn't advise you to actually connect LED strips to this unit. This is actually an ARGB um, controller. And for your 5 volt RGBs, I'm not too sure whether is it ARGB or RGBs. So a way to actually indicate, right, is to actually look at the cable itself. I have another video that illustrate um, how you indicate the uh, ARGBs and the RGB. I'll leave the uh, link on top right hand corner. Top right hand corner, you can actually click on it. And I'll leave at the description too. Now the last question coming from JBH. Now JBH have a very interesting question whereby he says that, oh, he has he's going to connect six Unifan on this unit itself, not a problem. And in addition, right, you have this CPU block that has RGB, ARGB control and GPU block uh, ARGBs. Now you can use them, but just make sure that um, they're actually three pin, not four pin. And you can actually connect to this unit itself on other sets, but you will need a converter, meaning you say you need a cable to convert from a 3-pin to this kind of uh, connection. Oops, this kind of connection. So you can't just straight away plug to the unit itself, it will not work. All right then, I hope you guys have actually enjoyed the uh, whole illustration and I will be um, back for more. So see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye.